Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with Pam Davidson. Tonight we are going to do something with some Italian sausage and peppers and whatever else we can put in this pan right here. All right, I'm right now going to open up a package of hot ground Italian sausage. And we are going to put that over here in this big fry pan. This is my big wok pan from Pampered Chef. So we're going to do, it's going to be a one pan meal tonight, y'all. So I'm starting off with one pound of hot Italian sausage. Well, I thought that was going to pop out. Let's see. All right. It popped out like that. Pretty good. So we're going to start cooking that, and I'm going to start chopping an onion. Okay, I'm going to take the onion here. we got the sausage in the pan. We're going to put one small onion in there with it. Peel this off real quick here. Peel this side off. And it's going to cook about six to eight minutes till your meat gets done and your, under, and your onion is done. Let me get all this onion cut up. All right, we're putting that whole small onion in there. And we're going to take our chopper, our mixing chop. We're going to start mixing this up and let that meat cook. Alright, we're going to cook that about six to eight minutes. Alright, while that's cooking, we're going to need four bell peppers. Well, I don't have bell peppers tonight, but I got a bunch of these other small little peppers. So what I'm going to do is just dice them up. I'm cutting the ends off. And then I will cut them, rake the seeds out of them. And we're going to dice them up. Alright, so here's your pepper. I just take them off. I cut the end off. Cut it right down the middle, these small ones. And we're just going to take a spoon here and rake the seeds out of it. Put it over here in our pile, and I'm going to do the rest of these peppers. All right, next we're going to put one garlic clove in there. So you just put the clove right in there with the skin and everything on and the Pampered Chef squeezer here. Squeeze that out. And we're just going to put one clove of garlic in here. And then cook that around about 30 more seconds. All right, next we are going to um, put in one can of diced tomatoes and one can of crushed tomatoes. So let me get my can opener on here. I have one can of diced and I don't have crushed, so I'm going to put stewed tomatoes in here. So just use whatever you got. These are two 14-ounce uh, cans. Go ahead and put both cans of them in. Let that start cooking up. And we are going to put in some seasoning. Let's see. Next we're going to put in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Let me get it all out here. All right, I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Now, this is a one teaspoon thing, so we're just going to sprinkle that in. We're going to put in a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Give or take a little bit. <laughs> we 
we're going to put some salt and pepper to season it. Just put ever how much salt and pepper you like. And let that cook up a minute. All right, here's where we would simmer this for about 10 minutes. We would put like a half a cup of rice in here. But I'm not going to put rice in because I'm making it low carb. So I'm going to put a pack of this rice cauliflower in. So I'm not going to simmer it that long. I'm going to go ahead and put it on simmer because this is already pre-cooked. So this is just going to give us the texture, a little bit of the rice. All right, let's stir that up. All right, once you got in there, we're going to start adding all them peppers. So I'm just going to dice them up here and throw them in. And then we are going to simmer this. Once you get all the peppers in, we're going to simmer it about 15 minutes. So let me get all these peppers in the pan. All right, I'm adding the last of the peppers. Stir these up. See all the peppers up there on top? Get them all stirred in there. Nice and coated. And then we are going to simmer about 15 to 20 minutes until all these peppers get cooked. And I'm probably going to put a lid on it here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stick this lid on here and let them cook peppers cook up about 15 minutes or so. All right, y'all, what we're going to do right now is got a bag of mozzarella cheese. We're going to take about a half a cup and just sprinkle it around on the top. And just let that cheese melt on top of there. And I'm going to put the lid on it, and it is done, y'all. Let me show you here. There it is, it's done. The recipe, it said it was called unstuffed peppers, but usually my peppers, I use ground beef, and today we use ground Italian sausage. So that was a little bit mix up, a little bit of, uh, gonna put a little spice on it today. All right, it's gonna be ready for Big Daddy when he gets up here. All right, y'all, thanks for watching, and thanks for sharing my videos. Talk to y'all soon, bye-bye.